Now at six, the National Guard has arrived in downtown Atlanta just within the last 30 minutes. Governor Brian Kemp's state of emergency order put the guard on standby to respond to any possible disruption of peace. And new images just into our new newsroom show several downtown businesses are closing early. You can see these signs that have been posted on business doors. These moves come as the city of Memphis is expected to release video of the deadly beating of 29 year old Tyree Nichols. Five officers tied to the case were fired last week and charged with second degree murder Thursday. Today, police departments all across Metro Atlanta say they are getting ready to react in case there's any civil unrest in the coming days. 11 Alliance Palo Soro is in Centennial Olympic Park, where many protests took place back in 2020. And organizers are on social media. They're planning for another protest tonight. Two years ago, it was here where hundreds gathered to protest after George Floyd's murder and other deaths in the hands of police across the country. An organizer who was here for it all tells me Tyree Nichols' death is a painful flashback to that time. Jamarian Robinson, Jabril Robinson, Jimmy Atchison, and now we have Tyree Nichols. In the summer months of 2020, Brittany Burns was part of these demonstrations fighting for justice and peace. She says this weekend could be similar despite the quick arrest of the five officers who were charged with Tyree Nichols murder. Because Tyree Nichols is not here. And also just because those officers were arrested at the same time, there's a patterns of practice when it comes to police as a whole. And we are tired of it. She's encouraging peaceful protests. I'm angry. At the same time, if they want free bodies off of us, why would we give it to them? Meaning don't jeopardize your life. And if they want to enslave us, meaning put us in jail, don't give that to them. Words echoed by Atlanta Police Chief Darren Shearbaum. We will be in the next few days protecting the right of free speech on the streets of our city because men who wore the same uniform that you wore for another agency have violently broke the public trust and that Tyree Nichols lost his life because a group of men forgot their oath of service. For details of how police departments in and around Atlanta are getting prepared for tonight and this weekend, head on over to 11alive.com. In Atlanta, Paolo Lucero, 11alive News.